keyboard shortcuts are a useful concept on any computer where you can press a combination of keys on your keyboard at the same time to perform various different functions without you having to click anything. And on a Chromebook, they work pretty similarly to any other computer. All you have to do is remember the shortcut and press all of those keys on the keyboard at the same time. Usually you'll hold down control and maybe shift and then press a letter or perhaps one of these special custom Chromebook keys across the top of the keyboard there to perform a specific function. There's super common ones like control C to copy something you've highlighted, control T to open a new tab in Chrome, control V to paste something, control Z to undo the last thing you did, and a whole lot more like that. And then there's some more advanced Chromebook specific ones that you might not be familiar with, like control and this overview key here, which will take a screenshot of the entire screen or control and shift and that same overview key, which will then allow you to take a screenshot of a specific portion of the screen. This one does require a few clicks, but it pulls it up for you really quickly or search and shift and L to make the Chromebook go to sleep. Now Tim has to wake it up again. As a side note, some Chromebooks will have a search key here with a magnifying glass icon on it. Other Chromebooks will have a circle looking icon on that same key, but it really is the same key in the same place. And it does exactly the same thing. It's technically called the everything key. It just looks a bit different on some Chromebooks. So it's a little bit confusing, but just when Timmy uses the search key, it's either the search key on your, your Chromebook or it might be that other looking key. But the point is there's a lot of different keyboard shortcuts you can use on your Chromebook that can be very, help very helpful if you can remember them. But Timmy doesn't need to sit here and list all of them off because that would take quite a while. And there's actually an app built into Chrome OS that lists out all of the available keyboard shortcuts and even allows you to change some of them if you want to. So you can kind of create customized keyboard shortcuts. Come down and click on the app launcher button in the bottom left hand corner here to pull up the app launcher. And you'll be looking for an app called key shortcuts. So you can scroll through the app launcher here or you can type in the search here if it's easier and it should come up and you can click on it to open it. And now in here, you'll basically get a list of all the different keyboard shortcuts that you can use on your Chromebook. So on this side here, we have the function. So what will actually happen? And then over here, we have the shortcut. So the keys you have to press to make it happen. So the first one is kind of not even really a keyboard shortcut. It's just a button. If you press the search or everything key, that will open and close the app launcher. So there's really just one button that does something, not quite a keyboard shortcut, but it's telling you that. Or overview mode, if you press the overview key or F5, if you have F5. But one other thing to note, it shows the overview key as this in the app here. That looks a bit weird. That's actually the overview key on really any Chromebook keyboard Timmy's ever seen. So that's a bit confusing, but this is the overview key you'll need to be pressing. If you ever see that symbol, it actually means it's this key, but moving on from that. Next up, we have a real keyboard shortcut. So this shows you if you press Alt, Shift and S on your keyboard all at the same time, that will open up the quick settings menu. So we'll hold down Alt and Shift and press S. And now we have this quick settings menu here, which can be really handy to do a bunch of things in. So it's good to be able to pull that up easily. And then the same keyboard shortcut again will make it go away. And we also have search and C, which will pull up the calendar and make it go away. So Timmy's not going to run through every one of these keyboard shortcuts because that could really take all day, but there's a whole lot here you can read through. You can read through and see what, what the function is. So you can look at all these different options. And then if you see a function that seems like it would be useful for you, 
You can then look across to the side and see what keys you need to press to make it happen. So obviously you're not going to be able, probably not going to be able to remember all of these because there are so many. But if you just scroll through and pick a few you might want to memorize, it can be good. And this is only the list in the general category here. On this side menu here, there's also a device with a whole lot more shortcuts or browser or text and so on. So you can click through all the categories and see all those different shortcuts there. And if we scroll down a bit here, you will find some functions here that say no shortcut assigned. So that means currently there is no keyboard shortcut that will, for example, turn do not disturb on or off. But if you need to turn do not disturb on or off on your Chromebook quite regularly, and you think it would be helpful to have a keyboard shortcut for that, you can actually assign it a keyboard shortcut. All you need to do is hover over it here and you'll see this pencil icon here and click that. And now you see a list of all the shortcuts that will activate this function, which is currently no shortcuts. So it just says no shortcut assigned, but you can click add shortcut here. And now you basically just need to press any keyboard shortcut that you want to use as this shortcut and it will enter it in here. So maybe to turn do not disturb on or off, we want to use the keyboard shortcut search alt D perhaps. And now that will add that as a shortcut here. So now whenever we press search alt and D, it will turn on do not disturb. As we can tell by this little icon down here, do not disturb is now on. Or we can once again press search alt D and turn do not disturb off. So now we have assigned that search alt D keyboard shortcut to turn do not disturb on or off. But you are fairly restricted in what shortcuts you can use because a lot of them have already been taken. If we go back in here, for example, to change this keyboard shortcut to a different keyboard shortcut, if for example, you wanted control C to turn do not disturb on or off, you can press control C to type it in here. But as it will tell you, this shortcut is already being used for copy selected content, which we know because we used that before. So you can't really use this. In theory, you could go and edit the control the copy function so that you could change the copy function to be something different, not control C. And then control C would be available for this shortcut if you really wanted to. But then it can kind of have conflicts with other apps you might be using and stuff. So it's generally not a very good idea to be using a super common shortcut like this. Ideally, you want to think of a unique one. And it's also best if you create a shortcut that uses the everything key or search key, because even if you choose something like control shift E, for example, control shift E is not currently used as a shortcut in just basic Chrome OS. But as it will warn you here, if you try to use that, there might be some other app that you might end up using on your Chromebook that will have a shortcut that uses control shift E. So chances are you'll be perfectly fine using control shift E, but there is just a chance you could run into issues with some other app where you press this and some other app thinks you're trying to do some other function in that app. So it's best if you use the everything key in your shortcut because no other app will use the everything key as a shortcut. So it kind of makes it completely safer and completely unique if you use that. But if you do really want to use control shift E or something like that, you actually can. It, it, you press it once and it will appear like this with this message, but then you just press control shift E again, and then that will confirm it and put it in there. And now we can use control shift E to turn do not disturb on or off. But as Tommy said before, it's not necessarily the best idea to do this, but you certainly can. And then when you're happy with it, you can go ahead and click done here. And now you will see turn on slash off do not disturb. 
Control Shift E. And in really the same way, you can also change any existing keyboard shortcuts to a different one if you want to, or you can even create multiple different keyboard shortcuts that will perform the same function. For example, let's maybe scroll back up here. The default keyboard shortcut to open up the quick settings menu is Alt Shift S. But if you don't like that, if you wanted to use a different keyboard shortcut to open the quick settings menu, you can click the edit button here and you'll see the shortcut here. You can click the edit button next to the shortcut. And now you can once again choose any shortcut you want to use for it. The same rules will apply, so you can't use a shortcut that you that is already used for something by your Chromebook. And ideally, you want to use the search or everything key to make sure it's not going to have issues with any other apps. But you can make up really any shortcut you want. Perhaps for opening the quick settings, we'll go with something like search Q. It's quick and easy to type, it includes the search key, and Q could stand for quick settings, so that seems like a pretty perfect one. So we'll use search Q and type it in there. And now if we press search Q, that'll open the quick settings and press it again, close it, open, close. And we can use that as the shortcut to open and close quick settings. And we now have it here. Or if you want, you can actually assign two different keyboard shortcuts for this one function. So we have our search Q function here, keyboard shortcut here, but inside this same open quick settings function, we can also click add shortcut again and add another shortcut for it. So maybe this time we will go search control four or something that's available so we can use that. So now we can either press search control four and that will work or we can press search Q and that will do the same thing. And we can click done here. And we can now see both of these shortcuts are used to open quick settings. And now because we have replaced the keyboard shortcut that would originally open quick settings, we could now also use that keyboard shortcut to do some other function if we wanted to, or we could just leave it and make that keyboard shortcut do nothing at all. And in a similar way, you can also just completely delete a keyboard shortcut if you want to. So we can see down here we have a keyboard shortcut to open and close the calendar. But maybe if you never really use the calendar on your Chromebook and you don't see any need to have that, you could actually click the edit button here and just click the trash can button here and delete that and click done. And now the open close calendar function will say no shortcut assigned. So now if you press the search and see, nothing will happen at all. So now if you wanted to, you could once again use search and see as a keyboard shortcut for something completely different, or you can just leave it like it is now doing absolutely nothing. So you can scroll through here and change it up as much as you want, however you want to hopefully make your Chromebook a bit easier to use for your use case. And if you ever get this all too messed up and all the keyboard shortcuts are different and wrong, you can always come in here and click this reset all shortcuts button. And that will put all of the keyboard shortcuts back to default. You probably never want to do that because then you'll lose all your custom shortcuts. But if you ever need to, you can do that. But that's really all there is to it. That's how you can use the basic standard keyboard shortcuts on your Chromebook and how you can learn a whole lot more and even change some of them if you want to. Obviously, you won't be able to memorize all the different keyboard shortcuts and what they do because there are quite a lot of them. But if you just have a bit of a look through this list, if you can learn maybe five or 10 different shortcuts that you would often use, it can really speed up your workflow and make using your Chromebook quite a bit easier. But that's it for this video. So hopefully you found it helpful and we might see you in another video in the future.